Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing another movie review for you all, so hopefully you find this one interesting. This movie is a action film from Hollywood, English language, released in the year 2024, directed by Ridley Scott, and this film is called Napoleon. So Napoleon is about Napoleon Bonaparte, from his upbringing to when he first gained the attention of the French governing forces, where he helped them repel rebellions through his expertise in battle tactics, up until when he became emperor of France and he conquered many parts of Europe. So this movie details his life from start to finish and how it transpires is something you're going to have to find out for yourself, because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Napoleon. You guys are probably wondering why am I reviewing a mainstream Hollywood film. If you've been with me from the start, you guys know that I don't like mainstream Hollywood for reasons that I've gone into time and time again. But every now and then I will come up with a Hollywood film that I take a lot of interest in. And Napoleon was definitely one of those films for three very good reasons. Number one, it's Napoleon Bonaparte, one of the most fascinating historical figures, an absolute battle genius. And just see him, uh, how he outsmarted his enemies, it's just something that I can't get enough of. But then I wanted to see more about Napoleon as a person and so that was what gained my curiosity and that's the reason why I wanted to give this movie every opportunity. Number two you have Joaquin Phoenix who is a very peculiar actor and I thought he was perfectly cast to play someone like Napoleon Bonaparte and number three you have Ridley Scott who is a very famous director you guys don't need me to introduce him. He's made movies that I've really liked and so I was hoping that this is going to be one of those films that I've liked from Ridley Scott. So having those three reasons put together I had my fingers crossed that this would be an absolutely fantastic experience, unforgettable and one that I would recommend to everybody but unfortunately upon the end credits I thought as though this is everything that I hate about mainstream Hollywood so I'll go into that a little bit later but what I liked about this movie there are a few positives number one Joaquin Phoenix does a brilliant job as Napoleon Bonaparte he plays a man who's completely torn up mentally he's got a lot of pressure on him he's trying to win battles but he's also trying to settle his personal demons and so when that all comes together I could feel the pain the torment and just the psychological battlefield inside Napoleon's mind I thought Joaquin Joaquin Phoenix did a very good job at actually portraying someone who was very interesting and the movie dares to go down avenues that it doesn't quite get to but I thought as though his performance it was gained that curiosity, gained that interest and so that's by far the best part of the film is that Joaquin Phoenix does a great job at playing a man who has compassion but at the same time very conflicted emotions. He has to be this hardened battle general but at the same time he has that feeling that okay he's a different sort of person away from the battlefield and so those two Napoleons don't quite gel well together and that conflicting sort of battle within his mind I thought was evident in this movie so that was very good. Number two, the battle scenes are absolutely fantastic. They hit you on a very epic and grand scale. Uh, there's a lot of brutality. It doesn't flinch away from the brutalities of war. And it's just choreographed very, very well. And that's something you'd expect from Ridley Scott. And so there are a few battle scenes, and each battle scene is better than the other. And so that was all very good. It almost like it elevates in its action. It just gets better and better up into the climax where you get toward the famous Battle of Waterloo. I thought the setting was very authentic. I thought as though the costumes were very good, and the effects were absolutely fantastic. But unfortunately, Unfortunately, that's where all the positives stay, and this is where I get into the negatives. Now, the reason why I hate mainstream Hollywood is because it caters for the mind of a very low attention span. So you've got a lot of action, and historical figures or your know, character development plays a back seat. And in this film, you have fantastic battles that will captivate the audience with an attention span that's not very big. But if you're like me and you're actually interested in Napoleon himself, you feel as though this movie cuts a lot of corners. And so the film is about this fascinating guy, and I feel as though it needed a TV show. It needed to really flesh out all of the interesting aspects to Napoleon Bonaparte. This movie dares to do that, but it just doesn't have a focus on that. It wants to focus on all of the things that I hate about mainstream Hollywood. So you have a battle, and you battle, battle, battle. It's all very fast paced, it's all very frenetic. Explosions, you have decapitations, everything that you would expect. But then it goes to Napoleon's life, and this is where I feel as though it's cutting corners because it's impatient to get to the next battle. And so that's something that I really hated. I wanted to know more about Napoleon Bonaparte. It threatens, there are interesting aspects to his life, but it just doesn't concentrate on that because it's worried about making all of its money back. And to make your money back, you have to captivate audiences. And these days, unfortunately, with mainstream Hollywood, Hollywood, the majority of audiences want explosions, especially from a Ridley Scott film. So this movie, this character, uh, this historical figure in Napoleon Bonaparte deserved a better film. It deserved a more respectful film because I just thought as I was fast forwarding. So you have Napoleon who he goes to Africa later in the film, but it just 
he goes to Africa and then he's back in France. He goes to another place and then he's back in France and you think as though, well, I wanted to know more about his journey in a different continent, but it doesn't worry about that because it just wants to get to battles. And so that's something that I absolutely hated. I thought as though his romantic life, I thought was the uh, most interesting aspect and I thought as though that aspect was gone into uh, at a level that I thought was satisfactory. But the rest of his life, I just felt as though his connection with himself and the people was non-existent. I thought as though the connection with himself outside of his love interest was non-existent and I just didn't really care about it. And so after a while I started thinking this is the reason why I don't like mainstream Hollywood because yes it does look very good and you can marvel at all the chaos but for someone like Napoleon Bonaparte I wanted to know more about him and unfortunately the movie just doesn't really focus on that enough. And the historical accuracy does take a back seat once again so you know that this is a film. Again Napoleon Bonaparte deserved a biopic something that was more closely related to history as opposed to a movie that is going to entertain. So entertainment is Napoleon's sole focus, which is unfortunately because it had a lot of interesting aspects and it could have been a great film, but unfortunately, surprise, surprise, mainstream Hollywood and big budgets have done it yet again. So that was the biggest disappointment. I thought as though there was a good movie hiding in here, but unfortunately it just doesn't come out because it focuses on all the wrong areas. So if you are a fan of uh, Ridley Scott, then Napoleon Bonaparte is not one of his best, unfortunately. It's good to look at, but as far as depth is concerned, it goes to two and a half hours, but I just thought as though it just didn't really go anywhere. And so it's just a collection of battle scenes, a few scenes of Napoleon and his life, but unfortunately, as I said, doesn't really uh, go and concentrate on all the aspects that I wanted. But for you, if you go in there expecting an action film, maybe you'll like it, but for me, Napoleon Bonaparte, the historical figure, deserved a better film. So overall, for Napoleon, I'm going to give this one two and a half stars. I wouldn't recommend it. Very disappointing. Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later.